am amazing. Our next guest is not only an actress and the creator of a very popular blog called Real Girls Kitchen, but she's also a really good friend of mine. To know her is to love her. Today she is preparing veggie and mango summer rolls that are light and full of flavor, and they're not deep fried. Welcome back, my sweet friend, Haley Duff. Hey, Haley. Sad but true, they're not deep fried today. They're good for us, Haley. So they are, yes, you too. I know, I'm like, big hug across the kitchen here. Big hug, I'm very excited to eat your, um, your healthy take on the spring rolls. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. These are not like so TV friendly, these spring rolls, but don't worry. I'll find a way, find to, a way to do it. Don't you worry. I so love these them. for summer. These are, well, this one of those recipes where you're like intimidated to make it. You see it at a restaurant and you're like, ooh, it looks so good, but actually they're the easiest thing in the world. Mm. It's good, right? Did you get a jalapeno in yours? Oh I my hope. gosh, this is so good. Yeah, so this is like all kinds of really great flavor combinations. I love cilantro in it, some mint. And then I really love to add mango. It's so mango yummy. Mango adds this little like sweetness to it. It makes you feel like you're on a vacation. Yeah, very summer vacation vibe. So and should it, we make some of these? Let's do it. I know okay. it starts with the rice paper. That's key, right? This is what I think people are scared of. This situation like here. A plate. <laughs> this has a little bit of warm water in it. And you're just gonna set this down into the water. It's gonna soften for a minute. Normally like two minutes or so. Okay. This is a great recipe for kids too because they can really get in the kitchen and do it. And there's no wrong way to roll these. That's right. They can they'll end up looking like a burrito more than Yeah, a they can be long and skinny. They can be short and fat. It's like you can kind of do it however. Okay, so you kind of see there how it's go. like still a little bit of Tacky. firmness to it. And then you just layer your veggies in. So I'm going to do like some orange. I love how like bright and colorful these can be. I love some jalapeno because, well, you you're know, from Texas. Texas girl, I'm like, give me that heat. I always let a few seeds sneak in there. Ooh. And then I like to add the greens because this really will fill up your roll. And the combination of mint and cilantro is one of my absolute favorite things. Mine too. It's so refreshing. It really is, isn't it? And when do you get to eat like that many herbs? Mm -hmm. Like all in one thing. So I like to do one side, then another side. And then listen, there's no wrong or right way to do it. So I kind of push them in together. But this is the key. And roll them over, and that's really it. I'm glad you're showing everybody how to do this because a lot of times, Dun -dun -dun. look how easy that was. Another great trick, your knife when you're gonna cut these, I like dip my finger in the water and I just go down the very edge. Be very careful, obviously. <laughs> Be gentle with that knife, but it helps to cut through the roll. So when so you're ready stick. to slice it, it just kind of will go through much easier without sticking, and then there they are. But I do have to say you need a sauce. Well, you gotta have a is, sauce. I will tell you what, this zesty dipping sauce. Is it good? I've been double dipping because it's mine. It's so. yours, girl, go for but it. This is so good, I feel like I would put this on everything. I mean, you can. It can go on so many different things. What is it? Stir fries, all kinds of stuff. So it's almond butter, oh, it's no sesame oil. Yeah, almond butter, not even peanut butter. I would not have known that. It's a miracle. So you've got some garlic chili paste, which this is my favorite thing. I could put it on just about everything. Um, that goes right in with your almond butter. You've got sesame oil. You've got some vinegar, some honey. Mm. Well, that one's not one to come out either. And a little soy sauce goes in there. And I, and I think the lemon juice really brightens it, kind of like cuts through the richness of it. Right, and I love that you're making it yourself because there's so many dipping sauces on the market right now that you could buy, which yes. is fine, but if you look at the back of the bottle and you look at the ingredients, you get four or five down, and you're like, mono, salamasa, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're like, you're what like, is this? this? What is this ingredient? putting it in my body. <laughs> yeah. So this is great, because you can pronounce everything, and you know exactly what you are eating. Totally. Well, and also, another thing you can make with your kids. Right. Like, my kids love to be able to stir something or mix something. They always make a huge mess, but it's so fun to get them in the kitchen. I mean, they are so cute, those two little angels. How old are they now? Well, Lulu is almost three. I can't believe I it. I know, it's so wild. And then Ryan is almost six and she started kindergarten. Stop it. In person kindergarten. Oh my I know, it's very exciting. Is she loving it? She loves it, she's Aww, so happy. So sweet. It's so nice to feel like, you know, back to normal life a little bit and oh, kids I back in school. It. I know it, well while you continue to yes. make the sauce and maybe add a little bit of water to. I was gonna say yes, we wanna put a little warm water in if it's thick. To loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, it'll just kind of like thin it out a little and. Well while you do that, I hope it's okay for me to let everybody know, I hope that, um, you know, you do have two I was little like, what ones. what are you about to tell everyone? You, she has two <laughs> little ones but, you know, she also has another one on the way mm. in her um, upcoming I was about movie to say, Jeb, she... don't scare me, girl. <laughs> don't scare me. 
Yeah, you have to tell everybody about your new movie. Yes. That, that is coming up where you play a pregnant woman again. You know, I, I have to tell you, I had been pregnant so many times on television or in movies before I actually had a baby. I was like, I'm prepared for this. I can do this. I think my first pregnancy was Seventh Heaven. Oh, that's right. And I was pregnant for a whole season, like Little Bump all the way to Gigantic. Um, yeah, people think... We have a girl that's pregnant in a movie. I hire Haley Duff. That's, <laughs> I guess that's a go-to. Well, listen, it's yes. a good problem to have. Yeah, it's called The Baby Pack. Yeah, tell us about it. And um, it's a comedy. It's really fun. It's actually a sequel to a movie I did quite a few years ago called The Wedding Pact that's on Netflix. And um, yeah, we get to do a second one. So Super I'm excited. Fun. Yeah. That is so awesome. Yeah, it was nice to get back to work. Yeah, I know. It's great. I know, it's wild. Yeah. Just the, the simple things that we just used to do have become so magical. True. Well, and also I feel like I didn't realize how much I was missing because of who I was before I spent every single moment at home in this past year. You know, I was like, oh, wait, I, I work and I do this and that, and I'm also a mom, you know, so yeah. it was nice. And you do them all so well, including oh, you. your delicious spring rolls and everything you. else you make. I know, I'm going to well. try one of these with you. They're so good. Get in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I want to steal some of your sauce, so that oh, you've been double dipping here. in there. Oh, oh, <laughs> social distancing, we can't. <laughs> if there's anybody I'd share a dip sauce with, it's you, girl. Oh, I it's love you, you, Haley. I feel the same. You all can find this amazing recipe on HallmarkChannel.com. And make sure to check out more from Haley at RealGirlsKitchen.com.